Okay, uh, I will explain about how to use IS file in uh, your 3D Max. So let's assume that you have a geometry. This one is actually probably you can, you may want to use your uh, Revit file. And let's say this one is your, uh, the geometry of lighting fixture. All you have to do is very simple. Okay, so you, we need to, we need to create a lighting source and then we attach a IS file to that. So here, uh, to create a lighting source, I go to create and then lighting. And here I would select photometric. If it is select as standard, I change to photometric. And I'll use target light. And then I just say yes. And then what you have to do, you have to locate this lighting right beneath under your geometry. If this one is off of your geometry, then actually it will block the IS file. So uh, I'll switch to uh, lighting, light, and then I'll click uh, select and move. So again, I'll first I'll select light source, and then by right mouse click, select and move, I change. Uh, it's better to locate this one precisely underneath uh, your lighting fixture. So I just said numerically I'm changing the position. This one also I change it to directly underneath the lighting fixture. So this one is precisely located but exactly a little bit beneath under the lighting geometry. So that's it. So you're ready. And then we are going to use IS file for this lighting source. So I, again I select again the light source and then I will change from create to modify and then here I just move up a little bit and then make sure that this one, the default setting is ray traced. I change it to mental ray shadow. And light distribution, I change from uniform to photometric web. Then it will change the menus underneath. And I simply click choose photometric file. And go to the folder you saved your IS file. And then select the file. In case I just use H01MN. And there are additional information here. And that's it. You are all set. So now let's add light meter. So I will select, okay, then uh, I just cut it here and then in the next video I will explain about how to use light meter.